everyone, so we're going to go ahead and get started on the actual uh, weaving of our rat harness. What I did is I measured out my embroidery floss uh, to 60 inches, give or take. You may not even use all that. I folded it in half and then knotted it and then taped it onto a flat surface. Then once it's flattened down, go ahead and spread out your string so you can see your colors and kind of organize them in a pattern. So like pink, black, white, pink, black, white is the pattern we're going to use here. We're going to go ahead and start with our first string. In this case it is the pink one. And our two strings in, um, next to that, the, the black and the white. You're going to take the string and make like a number four. Let's see if I can see how I'm kind of pulling it with my finger to make like the number four. That string will then go under your black and your white string, pull it to the top. Then repeat the number four under, pull it to the top. Then you'll go to your next two strings. Now remember you want to keep them in the order so it will always be pink, black, and white. So you gather these two strings, Oops. make your number four, however it's easiest for you, under the two strings, and then pull to the top, make your number four, put it under the two strings, pull to the top. Then you'll have one string left over. Make your number four again, under the string, pull to the top, make your number four, pull to your top. And that will be your first row. So go ahead and make sure your strings are back in that color order. As you start getting further down in the weaving, um, they will pretty much stay. Um, now the only difference is whatever color you use will be on the outside. So like if our pattern was pink, black, white, our pink, since we've used it over here, now we're down to black, white, pink, black, white, pink. You see what I mean? So now we're going to take our black string, because that's the next color in our pattern. The two strings next to it are white and pink. We're going to make our number four. See the four? Put it under the two and pull it to the top. Make your number four. Put it under, pull it to the top. Go to the next two. Just cases the black and the white. Okay. Pull everything kind of tight. Make your number four. See the number four? Under, pull it to the top. Number four, under. Oops, I <laughs> dropped it. Pull it to the top. Last string, number four, under, pull to the top, number four, under, pull to the top. Next string, white, okay, the two strings next to it, see my pen of pink, white, and black. Actually, should be <laughs> pink, black, white. So that's why you have to kind of fix it as you go along. Anyway, okay, take your white, number four, under, pull to the top. Number four, under, pull to the top. Next two strings, number four, under, pull to the top. 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 Next color. See, we have pink, black, white. Our next color is going to be pink. The two strings next to it should be black and white. Then pink, black, and white again. So we've completed the first little set. Now let's go to the next one. Number four, under. Oops. That's what happens when I look down at the camera and said what I'm doing. <laughs> Pull to the top. 
It's pretty easy. You just, the, I mean, the hardest part is going to be making sure you keep your strings um, laid out properly. This will make the harness lay flat, and it will also make sure that you do not screw up your order. Because I did that my first one, um, my strings got a little wacky, and I actually repeated the same color. <laughs> It wasn't in the pattern that I was going for. But anyways, let me just show you a couple more of these because I don't want to make this too long of a video because they're still assembling the harness. We haven't even gotten to that part yet. Alright, like I said, the hardest part is keeping them straight. As far as weaving it, it's just making that number four. See the number four? always going under the two strings because you're always gathering two strings so you go under like that and then pull it oops looked at the camera again <laughs> pull it to the top nice and tight and you repeat that each one goes twice and eventually you'll get really good at it and you can pick up some speed and uh, really whip these babies out. Let's get this last one. Okay. And as you can see, it starts making the pattern. Pink, black, white, pink, black. And then the next color, as you can see from the way my strings are laid out, will be white. That will be the next color in the weaving. Okay. So once you do that, and you weave it all the way down, you'll have this long weave of um, the floss, okay? What you'll then do, see I'm trying to do it with one hand, is you will make it into a loop, just like that, see? There's the pattern. Tie it off however you can. It's a really nice, good knot that's strong and won't break. And that is your rat harness. That is all there is to it. Now, as far as putting it on the rat, um, what's going to hold this together is, let's see if I can grab it, is one of these little binder clips. And what you'll do is just somewhere, usually where the knot is, gather the two together, pinch them, and then just clip. And see how the little, um, the wings <laughs> are facing upwards? Just go ahead and close them completely. And that will be where you would attach your leash, whether it be a um, a puppy leash, or I know they make these little leashes for rabbits and ferrets or whatever. It clips through. To put it on the rat, you're, what you're going to do is, you can either leave it on, um, which may be a little bit easier if you just kind of figure their head's a little bit smaller than their body. You will slip their head through here and their body will go through here. So the body will go through first and then you'll just put that over their head like that. Okay? And that is how you make that harness.